hello friends welcome to my channel and i hope you like my videos so today in this video we will exploring the working principle of a ph meter which is a vital tool used in science and industry to measure how acidic or basic a solution is right so you will learn how a ph meter works so friends my youtube channel name is pharma quality please view like comment and subscribe my channel so let's start with basics that is definition of ph so the definition of ph is the ph of a solution measures the concentration of hydrogen ion within the solution this concentration determines whether a solution is acidic or alkaline right it also defined as the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration so in a solution ah plus is the activity of hydrogen right so next is ph scale so we use a single scale to measure ph ranging from 0 to 14 right so a ph of 7 is neutral like pure water a ph value below 7 indicates an acidic solutions while values above 7 indicates an alkaline or basic solution right next is importance of ph measurement so accurate ph measurement is critical in various fields including pharmaceuticals and food and beverages industries so in each of these areas ph plays a key role in ensuring pro quality regulatory compliance and safety standards right So now let's understand the definition of a pH meter. A pH meter is a scientific instrument designed to measure the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. By directly displaying pH reading, it accurately shows us whether a solution is acidic or alkaline, right? So now let's look at the main component of a pH meter. So first is there's the electrode. So this is the part that directly measures the pH of the solution. Most pH meters use a combination electrode which includes reference electrode and a pH sensitive glass electrode. Nowadays mostly instrument contains the combination electrode where only single rod electrode is available which includes reference electrode as well as pH sensitive glass electrode. Right. The second component is meter unit. So this part takes the voltage generated by the electrode and converts it into a pH value we can read on the screen. So these together components allow the pH meters to measure and display the pH value of a solution accurately and reliably, right? So here you can see uh, in this picture that this is the your electrode where you uh, put this electrode in into a given solution to adjust the pH solution. So whenever uh, you put this electrode into that solution and adjust your ph and then uh, allow it to stabilize so the ph value will display in their display board right now here we will discuss the working principle of ph meter so the principle of ph meter is based on the ion exchange between the sample and the glass electrodes in a solution which generates electrical voltage that means hydrogen ion interact with the glass electrode generating a potential that measured against the stable potential from the reference electrode right then the meter converts this potential difference into a pH value so now let's discuss what precautions should be taken while handling the pH meter so ensure that the pH meter is calibrated prior to set the pH. So prior to take or adjust the pH, the pH meter should be calibrated. No damage of electrode. Check the electrode carefully prior to start the measurement. That is, there should not be any crack. Ensure that electrode is filled with respective electrode light. Generally, 3 molar KCL is used. Always clean electrode before and after use so you can use the purified water in such case always keep electrode in moist condition in 3 molar KCL solution never store an electrode 
electrode in distilled or deionized water because this causes the migration of the filled solution from electrode. Thus, it will decrease the response to the hydrogen ions, right? So now we will discuss how to operate the pH meter that is how to take the reading. So prior to pH measurement of any solution pH meter verification should be performed. So let's understand this with an example. Suppose you need to adjust the pH of a solution to pH 3. Then you need to verify the electrode with pH buffer 1.68 and pH 4.01 right. So this is basically performed to check the suitability of pH meter that means pH meter sensing accurately or not right. So the pH of the buffer solution shall be within plus minus 0 0.02 pH unit of the standard value. So the stabilized value reading should be within plus minus 0 0.02. Once the verification checks are complete you are ready to measure the pH. Then rinse the electrode with distilled water before immersing it into the sample. Then pour the liquid sample into a clean container ensuring that solution is deep enough to submerge the electrode tips. That means electrode should be properly dipped into the solution. Then place the electrode and temperature sensor in the sample solution. Immersing it only up to the recommended level. Right. So adjust the pH of sample solution with recommended reagent as per the procedure. Now allow the pH meter to settle until the reading is stabilized. So once the stabilized the meter pH meter should display a consistent pH value right. So once the reading is stable record the value along with any relevant information that is temperature of the solution sample type date and time right. So friends this is all about the general overview of pH meter instrument. For the calibration of pH meter I will make another video. Thank you.